You're listening to Media Frenzy Fridays. I'm your host, DJ Media Frenzy. And here with me in studio is Jacob Anstey, a.k.a. Bungalow Jonathan. Hey, how's it going? I'm so good. Thank you for having me here today. My pleasure. So you have started a new musical project. Right, yeah. I released my first single on Tuesday. Woohoo! Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the type of music, the genre that you have, and uh, what brought you to this place. Right. Well, I was I was having a hard time deciding what the gen- genre should be called, and I emailed you the song uh, to try and set this up, and you said it's absurdist, and I was like, that's what I'm going for. It's absurdist pop music. I and, love that you embraced that. <laughs> right, yeah, because the pop elements, I like to write songs that are no longer than three minutes, um, but my stuff has always been really absurd. Um, so I I, uh, I do play in a band called Gene Daddy, too, that's kind of like garage rock. Very different. Very different, yeah. <laughs> um, and they're based out of Toronto, we're based out of Toronto, so I moved to London um, maybe a year and a half ago, And when I started having more free time, not practicing so much with the band, um, I got really into producing and really into synthesizers. And I think that's what spawned the whole Bungalow Jonathan thing for me. So you're using instruments that you can you can use solo and and uh, exactly. Yeah, I I, uh, I'm used to writing songs with the guitar. And for this project, I just I haven't touched my guitar in a long time and I'm trying to approach it from from using synths and using drum machines and so- sounds that I record myself. Um, it's just a diff- it's an interesting way to kind of break your normal songwriting structure. Cool. Um, so I wanted to ask you about your moniker, Bungalow Jonathan. Where does that stem from? Um, my middle name is Jonathan, so that's kind of where that is. Um, my partner Sarah and I were talking about the housing crisis and being like middle, uh, you know, mid 20s. How are we ever going to afford a house? And she was saying that people in their mid 20s are going to have to reimagine bungalows to be these cool spaces because we can't afford anything bigger um, if we do want to eventually buy a house. And I thought that was so funny and, and also really true. And that the word bungalow just rolls off the tongue. It's really fun to say. It is a fun word. It really <laughs> is. Right. Bungalow. Cool. Um, so tell me a little bit about this new single that we're going to play in a couple minutes. Yeah. So the new single is called James Murphy. Uh, for the listeners, if you don't know, he's the lead singer of a band called LCD Sound System. And uh, I want to play a track by them after that, too. Um, he's this kind of enigma who lives in New York. And about a year ago, I was getting really into watching his interviews. And there's an interview on YouTube where he talks about failing and failure and, you know, how nothing really matters and all of these pretentious things. And he didn't start making LCD sound system till he was in his like mid to late thirties. That gives me hope. Right, exactly. (laughs) And that's kind of where I'm coming from with writing this song. Um, I talk about a lot of, you know, his songs in my song, but just the idea of having hope in your mid twenties that you Mm -hmm. can still do something cool once you get to the age of 40. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I guess I should play the single now. There is a really fun, silly video uh, that we can talk about a little bit later that it accompanies the song, but uh, I'm just going to play it for you so you can hear it. This is a song called James Murphy by Bungalow Jonathan. For me. All right. So, Jacob, you I love that you reference yourself in that song right. <laughs> and your own identity. Like, check out my ID. <laughs> exactly. Um... So the video, I know this is radio, so you guys couldn't see the video, but uh, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, sorry. There we go. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, So I wanted to create a visual um, using really primary broad colors. So I'm kind of, I doused myself in red face paint. Completely Um, covered, folks. Yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous. (laughs) And filmed it in front of a green screen. Um, doing all the takes and then washed all the red off, 
painted myself blue and did a, a bunch of takes in blue face paint and um, in front of the green screen and then spliced it together kind of in a strobe just to, you know, be super shocking and weird. Um, I sent it to a friend before I released it and she was like, this looks like a TVO kids program, like totally yeah. messed up. Yeah. And that's definitely like a vibe I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you said that I saw this graph on the internet yesterday, and it was talking about the different degrees of psychedelics. And one, and like, you know, it started off with, uh, with with marijuana, and then like the next one up was mushrooms, and then LSD, and then uh, at the top, very top high, like off the charts, was children's TV programming yeah, as being like absolutely. the most messed up. <laughs> right, um, and it's true. They were really yeah, bizarre. <laughs> and kids TV programming in 2020 especially like on youtube is using these insane colors and they're all two minutes long whereas like people who are in their 30s are used to watching these really gentle programs on uh you know on tv um but now it's everything just to like grab attention yeah so yeah i think that i think that's what i was going for and if i become like a children's tv icon i'm okay with that too (laughs) <laughs> you move over Teletubbies. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Great. Um, so you've done this one song. Do you have other songs in the works? Yeah, I have probably five or six songs uh, recorded right now. And I think I just want to keep releasing singles. Um, at first I was going to do an album, but I think it's just more fun to be able to take time with each, with each song and do a visual component of it mm. um, and kind of gain traction that way. Uh, with previous projects, I've always just gone straight to releasing albums. Um, and I think as like an up and coming artist or someone who doesn't have a big following, releasing a bunch of singles makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Do you see this as being doable in a live setting? Yeah, that's that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I really want to take my time with it and and do it properly. Uh, I don't just want to you know sing along to a backing track. I want to have more visual elements to it and mm-hmm. make it interesting. Um, I don't really play keyboard very well, so you know I need to figure out a way to present the songs live that makes more sense to me. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so maybe we should play this track here, the LCD sound system one. Um, what uh, is it about this specific track that caught your attention? There's a lyric in it, and he goes, I heard your band sold your guitars and bought turntables. And it's so funny because in this project, I got rid of my guitar, <laughs> bought a synthesizer, and that's what I'm going for. And he called me on it. So you don't even have your guitar anymore? Oh, I have my guitar oh. still. I, you know, it's just collecting dust in the corner right, right now. Right, right, right. Yeah, you put down the guitar for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this one is called Losing My Edge. LCD sound system done by the infamous James Murphy. That's right. Else. That was fun. Speaking of fun, that James Murphy track is pretty fun. Right. Yeah, it's the best. Um, I meant yours. Oh, <laughs> I was talking about the LCD sound system song we just listened to. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, listeners, it's Media Frenzy Fridays, and I'm here with Bungalow Jonathan, who just released his new single, James Murphy. And uh, we were talking a little bit during the break about about having fun with music and about not taking yourself too seriously. <laughs> right, yeah, I think that's my motto that's the most important thing as a musician to me is um if you take yourself too seriously or the people listening to you are taking you seriously they kind of put you in a box and you then you're only allowed to say certain things perform a certain way or write certain songs but if everyone thinks you're a joke then you can really do whatever you want (laughs) and you know that's a weird thing to say but that's what kind of motivated me to release this song and you know songs that I've released with my other band are just obscene and goofy if you listen to the lyrics um but I don't want to paint myself as someone who has an important voice um especially being 24 years old I don't think I have anything too interesting to say (laughs) 
<laughs> oh dear. Well, I mean, I love music that has something to say, but I also do love this this absurd style and silliness. Right. We need to be more silly because if we're serious all the time, it's going to kill us. <laughs> It'll yeah, be the death I of us, you. honestly. Uh, there's so much heartache and hardships and terrible things happening, and life is too short to take yourself seriously all mm-hmm. the time. Um, locally, I just want to mention James Kirkpatrick, too, um, yeah. because he, like, his music is so fun. So fun. And, like... And that video they put out with the with the monster mask. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> so good. And, you know, you're just smiling ear to ear when you watch stuff like that. And that's the kind of, like, positivity that I want in my music. Um, it's really easy for me to write like a super depressing song, Mm -hmm. but it does nothing for me. You know, I I want to push myself to like put happiness into my music and just make it weird and fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It's true. There's, there's enough melancholy out there. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Um, on that note, I'm going to play a funny, fun track by one of my favorite artists, Frank Zappa. This is off of his Zoot Allures album. And, uh, oh, there's so many good things on here, but I put on Disco Boy, and I hope you like it, and I hope it makes you smile. You're listening to Media Frenzy Fridays on Radio Western. Radio Western. 